Hi folks, it's Pastor Weaver coming um, from my office here at United Lutheran. Um, want to clear some things up and just be a little more clear uh, about what council's decision has been and what it they have been multiple decisions coming along. And um, so I want to I want to just kind of talk about that now uh, separately from the worship video uh, that we will be producing tomorrow because uh, I just want to take uh, you know a few minutes or probably more um, to, to talk to you very directly and 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 honestly about where we are and um, the challenges we face but also my hope and optimism of, about the strength of this congregation uh, so I'm going to talk about the way that we d arrived at um, the decision-making process as it is right now and I'm going to start with an apology that I've, I realize I've not I, I've created ambiguity in my communication um, I'm trying to remain you know open and optimistic um, but also realistic and I know that when I put out a possible date um, of earliest possible um, and say things like if all goes well um, then it's quite natural for us all to get in our heads, well, Pastor said this is the date, I'm, that's what I'm going to assume. And I apologize for kind of leaving that open-ended. Um, the truth is, um, here in the United States, in every state, and Pennsylvania is no different, things aren't going well. Um, it's not absolute tragedy, especially right around here. We, we're a little more shielded, but um, all the predictions of the following of patterns very similar to the 1918 to 19, or 1920 uh, flu pandemic um, are, are bearing out. The initial surge and then some mitigation factors and then people get tired of them and then it goes back up. And I've seen data graphs to show that Maybe we didn't even really have a dip. We slowed, and I'm not getting into the science of it. I'm not gonna, you know, it's not my area of expertise. Um, but we do, as a council, um, trust the scientific community to um, set the stage on this, and not a any political um, figure or leader. Um, and so, whether or not other congregations have resumed in person is not how we make our decision here. Whether or not such and such church down the road, um, we have a council elected by the congregation to represent our congregation. We are a member of the ELCA as a, a national body and as a synod, um, and I have been taking great um, comfort in being involved in weekly meetings with the bishop and other clergy from the synod. Um, touching base with what our, what our communities are going through, how we're approaching um, the, the distance and everything, and what standards we'll set for ourselves. Um, and so there's really a mixed bag in how local Lutheran congregations um, have been handling things, and, and that's my point of contact. I, I, I cannot and will not speak for uh, congregations of any other denomination or tradition, and, and it's just we could go down a road there with a million other things. So... Um, what we are, we, and I say we as me and the council of this congregation, are tasked with is um, is weighing everything and, and, and doing what's best for our calling to God um, and by God. And so we, we have been having conversation about multiple options. So when you get an official word, um, I, I hope you understand that these council conversations and conversations between you know members to council members, um, we don't just have it's not we don't have a C-span. You know what I mean? We don't have like every hour of conversation debate put out there to 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 see. So that's my long winded way of saying, trust us as far as saying that we we are looking at everything um, and we are considering everything and. Um, we are taking the challenges and the difficulties of this seriously. I've, I've said many times, especially early on in the shutdown, that this is going to be a difficult time. It's, it's one of grief and anxiety, and we we need to acknowledge that. It's 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 okay to say this this sucks, and there's not going to be a perfect solution to getting through it, and we're not going to 100% agree on how to get through it. But what I do have great faith in is the power 
of the name of this church, United means something. We really are and have been a congregation that demonstrates its ability to weather things together. This is going to be a time that's going to challenge us in that very thing. And so um, I just want to put that out there and, and say we are a strong congregation and I have great faith in our membership um, to, um, to face challenges, even if, even if you feel some of those challenges have been created by your own counsel or pastor. <laughs> you know, we're working, we really are trying to work through this in, in good faith. Um, so we've been, again, meeting pretty much every two weeks. And um, at our pri previous council meeting to the July 1st meeting, it was decided, let us um, we're not, I just don't feel quite comfortable yet. So let us meet in two weeks, July 1st, and see where we stand, having had a few weeks of Pennsylvania um, re, you know, opening, uh, you know, lessening some restrictions, and see if, 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 if things improve. For a time, Pennsylvania had really been on the down uh, curve, and it was really looking optimistic. Um, I don't want to get too deep into it, but, you know, People aren't taking things seriously. Mitigation, as it stands, is has been you know, iffy, and people have turned this into a political statement. And so as we met on July 1st, we're meeting there on the day where we are seeing the news out of uh, Texas and Arizona. Now, that's not where we live, I know. Two of the states that opened earliest and, and were trying to be least restrictive have had such surges in um, in cases where a, uh, Arizona ICUs are not maxed out. Now, locally, Pennsylvania, again, same day, July 1st, was when the the um, rest restoring, I guess I would say, of the masks in, in public places mandate came back. And so it, it wasn't exactly the day where we as the council felt uh, that... Um, if we decided to wait till now to reassess, things aren't better than they were last time we reassessed, and so let's remain cautious at least a few more weeks. Okay. So that's why um, that decision was made uh, the way it was. And again, lots of discussion, lots of options we're, we're throwing around to one another, um, and not, not one of them is perfect. Because for our outside worship options, um, we have the Grove. We have this wonderful facility. We have shade at the Grove. We could be outside. Just, we have electricity. I have a sound system. That's how I was envisioning it mostly. The Grove presents other challenges. Being right by the road. Um, very loud. Um, and that's, that's even with the sound system, that's a concern for some. Um, what about near the church building um, outside where it's, it's quieter? presents the, the, the other problem of it's not really shaded. Um, so there might be something, you know, we, if we did that, we'd have to consider, I don't know, tents. I'm, first time I'm saying it. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud here. But point being, there's not going to be a perfect option, whether it's outside or in person with distancing. Zion Sunbury, for example, has resumed in person. They have an enormous sanctuary. Mars is pretty big, uh, but, but the size of theirs, they've, you know, spaced people out um, to where now their maximum capacity is 80. Um, and, and if you know how big Zion is, that's a rather diminished capacity compared to what you know, it would have been. So we are looking at all of those things. We really are. Um, we are not taking these decisions lightly or cavalierly um, or without, any, with, without believing that it's going to be hard or that there's going to be grief or that there's going to be frustration. I mean, that's probably our, our, all of our collective most common emotion right now is we're frustrated. I just want to assure you that those of us still voting in favor of postponing, resuming in-person worship, we are also frustrated, okay? We are your brothers and sisters in Christ, and we want what's best for God's church. Um, and so we will be meeting again. Now it's going to be in three weeks, and I will tell you exactly why, and this I knew months and months ago that when this time came, it would be something that some of you might take issue with, and I'm just going to have to live with that. I'm taking my summer vacation. 
um, and we will be out of town on July 26th. Now, I've decided to do worship that day with the, with the online presence because I can take my laptop anywhere, and I'm going to, and I'll have my guitar with me, give Judy the, that week off. So we will be doing our distanced worship. Um, I struggled with whether or not to even take my summer vacation. It feels strange. Both um, members of council and our bishop and others um, have been encouraging me to do it. Take, take your time. But I, I will still be leading worship. Um, what that means is that's not a possible date to resume in, in person if that were to be the decision. And so um, we will be meeting um, July 22nd as a council. And the earliest possible, and I want to be clear again, would be August 2nd at this point. Now, many, many congregations, you know, and I know you can say, you know, some have opened. Some had decided a month ago to not even consider in person until September 1st, August so we, we have been trying to take it as opposed to an immediate, you know, res resuming of in-person versus a um, let's, let's decide f for months down the road to really be safe. We've tried to take it every couple of weeks and reassess. And I realize uh, there's pros and cons to that. The pro is we, we don't lock ourselves into a decision, but also the con is it's leaving everybody with a, well, when, well, when? Well, we don't know yet. And I understand that that, creates its own, huh, you know, I, I, folks, I really, truly am right there with you with that feeling. Um, so that's where we are right now. You may notice that I'm trying to choose my words very carefully here, and, 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 and I probably should do that more often, but um, I, I'm refusing to say closed and open because I'm going to keep reiterating what I said early and our national bishop says so eloquently, the Church of Jesus Christ is never closed. The church is not a building or facility. The church is the people. Now, that's not to say it wasn't important for United Lutheran to build this facility so many years ago to be a gathering place, not undermining the vitality of that. But in different times, we're called to be creative. And we're called to, um, with challenges that we haven't faced in, in our lifetimes in this way. So... While things will not be ideal or how we expect them or how we remember them or, let's be honest, how we just want them, because we just want this to be over. The church is a place that calls us to engage the world and to struggle and to, to, be, you know, to deal with it. Um, we will get through it only if we're united and together and acknowledge one another's pain and frustration, um, but also give each other be the benefit of the doubt in trying our hardest. Um, so I, I feel like I've talked long enough here. If you've listened this far, this is where we are. Um, we are not closed. We haven't been. And I know it's there are people that are not digitally connected and they are being left out in a way. And that's that's something that we, we're, we're sad about. Um, we are trying to find a balance of all the, the hard decisions. Um, there's no perfect answer. But please um, pray for me, pray for your counsel, pray for one another, and know that we are keeping you as a congregation, as a community in prayer as well, um, and that this is something we, uh, we're struggling with. So um, I, I hope that helps um, if anyone is feeling, you know, unheard or disregarded or like we're not, you know, taking concerns seriously. We really, really are. Um, but it's going to be, this is how we're doing it. So um, if you want to contact me or any council member personally, suggestions, um, I, like I said, we're, we're considering things, but we do want input. Um, but uh, we are confident in our congregation to weather this uh, no matter how we go through it. So uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, God bless you.